Hello. Hello everybody and um welcome to another Miss J Inks Designs tutorial. Um actually about to show y'all a tutorial on how to make a flash banner. I've been getting a lot of questions about it, a lot of requests to make a tutorial for it, and I've noticed that also there's not a lot of good ones out there right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to just make a little basic one and how to add your own stuff to it and there'll be other tutorials that'll follow this one as well as you know adding on to this one. So just keep watching and I hope you all get something out of it. Alright, we're gonna start off by opening up Photoshop. Now what I did is I went ahead and um created just a little a little PSD full of um text and images it just has basically a little setup. You can see the little setup I got right now. I got the hood music entertainment written up top and got the chain in the game one hood one hood at a time, something I just made up. Also I have, you know, the creative background. I just put a little effects on it to where it got the, you see the they got the Gaussian blur on it. Um I just, you know, put a little something together that I can show y'all a basic flash banner. Um what you would like to do when you're doing these flash banners, when you start off, because I saw it from Photoshop, so if you start off from Photoshop as well, is to where you have these placed the way that you want them to show up on the flash banner. See where I have, like my my guy I have him behind my um or on, a, in front of my my bar, my transparent bar that's on the side right there. Just, just took it off, and you know I just like to have my stuff set up the way it's supposed to. Where I got these bars right here for this little white bar on this side. See, I was behind him. So if you take it off, it just extends. I don't want, you know, it's going to be ugly. So I was pretty much have my PSD set up the way I want my flash to be set up. Nothing to be overlapping on nothing. I don't want anything to look out of place. So you start, you do that like that. And you just, you know, set up everything that you want it to look like. And then you go to file. Of course, you, you save it. Now waiting on this to save. <clears throat> Alright, now it's saved. So now we come and open up our our flash. I have flash CS3, you might have flash CS4, or you might have flash CS2. I think they all are good. Yeah, you know, flash CS3 works good for me, so I stick with it. So like I have Photoshop CS2. And the four is out, but you know I stick with CS2 because it's, it's it's good for me, so it works for me, so I work with it. Um, then right here we go open up our flash. So what we like to do is, what I always like to do is I come up here and I check to see the size of to change the size of my banner. So I will click up here to change the size. So right now it's set at 550, 400. And that's not the dimensions of my my PSD. So open up my Photoshop file again, and I right-click on the bar, and go to image size, and you know the dimensions I have is 900 to 600. It's best because of the way MySpace is. If you have, if you're doing it on MySpace, your dimensions for width should always be at least 800. I do 900 because it gives me plenty of room to put stuff in the middle, and for the comments that I like to extend my pages, I don't like that. So I go ahead and leave it at 900. In my height is 600. You can make it however dimensions you really want, but I think it's best to have it at least at 800 width, and you just take it from there. So the amount of dimensions on here is 900 by 6. I we'll exit out of that. Open up Flash again, and go to my width, and I change that to what did I say 900, and my height is 600. Now you can change the background color. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. I always change it to what. Basically, my um, PSD looks like so. I leave it like that, and I just hit OK. You leave everything else the way it is, and OK. See, everything has changed, and my size of the things has changed. So, what I do after that is, before I actually save any, put on under any title or anything, I go ahead and go to File, and I hit Import, and go to Import to Stage. Now, this part, some people do import to Library. That's fine. I do import the stage because I don't like the way I do. If I do import the stage, that means everything comes on the stage the way I left in my PSD. If I leave it, if I do import the library, it's gonna go straight to my library, which is over here, 
and it's I gotta fix everything and I don't like that so I always do import the stage now you whatever is best for you you do it import the stage and then I wait for my box to pop up so now I have it where the file that I call this TUT for you for tutorial flash banner one so I just grab yours and double click on it and you just wait for it to load up it's gonna show you the the layers in your um in your PSD so you just go through there and I'll just you know whenever it pops up I'll show you all what I'm talking about so now we got it so now you see it shows you all the layers it's in your PSD I have all these layers in here and I named them according to how I describe them whichever you describe yours is up to you as long as the product is the same and you know still looks good that's all that matters um so you can start what I do is some people also leave this as the graphics the way they are so they can go back and change them to motion clips or buttons I don't like to do that I like I like to make things a little easier on myself so for um, the text, I always do edited edible text because if you do it as a, a vector outline, what's going to happen is when it shows up on your flash and when it appears, it's going to look grainy and it's not cute at all. So I try to avoid that. Um, so I try to go through all the list to make all my text edible to editable text. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And all my graphics, I make them bit, bitmap image with the edible layer styles. So I just go through all this and do all that. Uh, to remind you, the ones that click the checked boxes, this is the ones I want to keep in my flash. So I keep doing that, and that's my background. And then I got this background layer right here that I didn't erase or nothing from my PSD. So I just unclick it because I don't really want it. There's no point in me having it. So then I hit OK. And I was waiting for everything to pop up, and you're gonna see how this whole thing works. <laughs> Alright, now you see, you got the blue lines, meaning that, you know, just showing that all these layers are selected according to this top. See, they're all black, and these are all selected. So that means that all my layers here are selected still. So you might go out of the box, which is fine because I don't need it. Because it's out of the box. So um, that's it. I just click, click on anywhere on the on the outside of the box. Now it looks like one of my layers have kind of messed up. Um, I don't know which one it is. I think it's this one. So all I can do is you know you can just make your little movements. You can just what um to move it. What I do is I click on the layer that it is like that one. If I click where this eye is and I click at this dot, that just makes it disappear. And if I unclick it, it brings it back up. Now clicking this box right here just selects my item, my layer. So what I do is since I want to move it, I'm gonna try to move it with my arrows on my keyboard and see if that you know that fix it. And if not, I have to move it using my mouse. So I'm gonna use it with my arrows. And just move it to where I think it looks good. I think that's pretty good. I think that's how it was to begin with. I don't know why it moved. All right, and that's it. Okay, so now I want to zoom out a little bit and zoom in a little bit. So I grab.